Welcome to the July 2020 energy update. I'm going to pull a few cards. We'll see what they have to tell us about this month of July. But for me, the energies that I'm sensing and picking up is that, wow, <laughs> we have changed tracks. This is a whole new world that we're in right now. Don't look at anything from the past because it doesn't exist anymore, especially those things that pull you back and hold you back from creating the amazing life that you came here to live and from being the incredible creator that you are, right? All of those old stories, all those problems, it's all in the past. It's over. It's history. It's done. There are going to be major changes, even more than what we've already known and experienced that are going to happen. We're going to rock this world and going to move us into this new dimension, this new way of living and being where life is joyful. <laughs> so let's see what the cards have to say about that. If you're new to my channel, I'm Linda Armstrong. I'm an energy healer and an awakening coach. And I'm all about assisting people to love their life. So my website is lovemylife.coach. It's all about releasing those things that hold you back, that stop you from being the creator that you are, from living the life you desire, from being in those higher vibrations, peace, love, joy. Yeah, that's what it's all about. I mean, even when I say those words, I, my energy expands just by saying them. Because the more we're in these higher energies, the more our energy expands and the easier this whole awakening process will be. And part of that is really acknowledging that this is what's going on and that there are these forces out there that want to keep us from knowing how powerful we are, from knowing that we have everything we need to live a beautiful life. Those forces that want to push fear, you know, so much fear through this pandemic, which didn't need to be there, right? A lot of it, I really truly believe, and when I test and I ask the universe, is that so, yeah, boy, does it feel true that so much of this has been really a last ditch attempt to keep us down, us the people down, to keep us from knowing our true powers and ability to really live a life we love. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And we're going to be seeing that because there is good news out there, but you're not going to hear it on the news. So if, if any of you, I, I don't know that many people who watch my channel pay too much attention to the news. You know, maybe you just want to keep a little update on what's going on. But really, if you're watching it all day long, stop. Just stop. All it is is programming crap into you. The stuff that I work to take out of people, okay? Don't listen to it. So I did shuffle up a whole bunch of decks. I'm just giving them for some reason. I was drawn to shuffle them a little bit more. And then I'm just going to go through deck by deck. I pulled up four. Let's see if we do all four of them or not. Maybe I'll pick another. I've got 10 different, 20 different decks right next to me. I'll just pick another one. Um, but something's telling me I've got everything I need right here. So I'm going to start with this Energy Oracle deck. And let's see what we get. Okay, number 12, the temple path, but it's in reverse. Here's, here's the upright picture, right? The temple path. I'm trying not to get that light on there. Okay, so it came in the reverse. And we're going to see what that wants to tell us. You might hear some thunder because it looks like it's about to storm here in New York. And that's good because it's really humid and sticky. So let's go to number 12. I welcome this rain. In fact, I think I'm just going to go out and stand in it. Uh, okay, number 12, Temple Path, which is spiritual purpose and support in the reverse. And we'll see what that says. So it's telling us that receiving this card reverse is a sign that you may have fallen off from your path. You could be too focused on worldly possessions and material gain, or you may simply be maintaining old and healthy habits of fear, limitations, doubt, and worry. Yes! We just want it, to, it's, it's a new world. We're on a new track. We need to just let go of all that stuff. If you have trouble doing that, it's a choice. We, everybody, we can make choices. And every 10 seconds, we can make a new choice, right? So if you have trouble choosing to let go of that stuff, then contact me because this is what I help people to do. So let go of these 
things that are holding you back that are just old stories, old habits, fears, doubts, and worries. And like I was just saying, the media is pounding you with that stuff right now. And it's not helping you. So really, you want to detach from that. So it says, whatever is distracting you, receiving this card reverse is a firm message that it's time to make your spiritual life and evolution, evolution a much higher um, priority. Yeah, you're choosing joy, happiness, peace, love. You're choosing a world that where things just flow, where the things that you desire can come through you just because you desire them. Anyway, not doing so represents an important loss of power. So clear your mind, meditate, and open up to the presence of spirit. See, whenever you can't, whenever you get confused from all the different things they're saying, start getting used to checking in with your body. Right? A truth will always make you feel lighter. Anything that is a, feels heavy, feels like ick, or you know, um, and you just feel yourself contract, is false. So you can keep checking things. Right? Uh, so you say like, truth universe are we making a shift for the better yeah feels light truth universe are we on our right course to be able to live actually through these higher vibrations yeah it feels lighter I mean I've been asking questions like this every day and for me it's just so light that's why I feel like for I know I, that's all gone where it's like we're jumping timelines even just new tracks it's like all of that stuff, it's gonna, you're going to start to see it kind of even disappearing. Like things that you thought actually happened didn't happen. Or you might have thought it happened in such and such a time this year. Yeah, I remember that and this is what happened. But then it seems like you look something up and it didn't happen then. It actually happened at a different time. It's weird. <laughs> this stuff is going on. It's happening right now. And the more you see these things, the more you realize, oh my God, we are shifting tracks we are moving to a whole new world a whole new way of being and i hope my dog doesn't make too much noise okay so it says whatever else you may have going on consider this an important part of your personal and tactical plans the support and inspiration of all eternity and countless loving spirits are available to you now right because the, the prior paragraph said to open up to the presence of spirit which is why I was bringing you to feeling light or feeling heavy. Your soul, spirit, your guides, they know and they'll assist you. And they'll, you can feel this. Your body's like the tuning fork. You can feel what's true. And you can feel that support as long as you're willing to acknowledge it. Yeah, I do have support in spirit. Anyway, the support and inspiration of all eternity and countless loving spirits are available to you. Not tuning, I'm sorry, not turning to them is like cursing the dark when you refuse to turn on the lights you just have to turn on the light you just have to let spirit in you just and when you're letting spirit in you're becoming more fuller who you are where you can start to trust that you know you actually know and that's another thing with all the changes going on psychic abilities are really increasing like i can't believe the synchronicities of things that i know that just happen like the next minute it's, it's fun. So notice that stuff because it's happening more and more. And the more you notice it, the more you'll notice it. The more you look at fear, the more fear you'll see. Our thoughts do create our reality. So pay attention. Pay attention to what feels true for you. Okay, let's go to the enchanted map. For some reason, I have these laid out in an order. I'm going to just go with it um, because my hand went right to this deck. So the second one I had out the enchanted map and let's see what this card wants to tell us and we've got oh spirit of place okay looks like another spirit message it's in the upright and it's number four okay let's go there I've, I've seen this card many times I like this card okay so this card says authenticity is the essence of power Right? When you know your truth, when you can feel it with your whole being, what's true and what's false for you, the truth will always make you feel lighter. Anything that is heavy is a lie. It's not your truth. So, our ancient ancestors believed that every place has a spirit looking after it or embodying it. Just as we have a soul, the plants, the trees, the birds, the mountains, and rivers have their own essences. When the spirit of place arrives in your reading, it says that the answers to your query is in the overarching theme of your circumstances. Is your question about struggle? 
The answer is to relax and let go of your need to control the situation. Yeah, that's a hard one to do, but when you actually allow yourself to do it, your solutions come in. When you're so focused on what's going wrong, you know, and that reactive mind gets gets triggered, all that stuff in the subconscious, it doesn't help you. You know, that's why you want to really tune into spirit, feel what's right, what's wrong for you, and trust your inner knowing. Trust what you know, not all those outside projections that have been put on you. So anywhere where you've doubted your own ability to know what's right for you, can we uncreate and destroy all of that? Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. That's the access consciousness clearing. You can look that up. Um, what is it? Theclearingstatement.com. Okay, so continues to say, if your inquiry relates to finding love, then embody love rather than looking for it. <laughs> Be the essence of love. Be the essence of money. Be the essence of success. When you can be the essence of whatever it is you desire, like really, it doesn't matter what's going on. Be what it is you desire. Then you're setting up the energy to draw that into you. So that's what this is saying. Be, where is that? Uh, if it relates to love, then embody love rather than looking for it. Once you find the essential truth that underlies your question and then name it, you'll discover the answers you've been seeking. Your greatest power is in your authenticity. So I think that's just going on, you know, for this month of July and for your whole entire life. <laughs> to start really trusting in yourself, going within making in whatever way you can a connection to spirit i'm sure i have other videos about that maybe i'll make some new ones where you can just expand your energy feel that love ask questions just keep asking questions of the universe without having to know the answer that really creates a lot of change because when we try to figure out the answer we're back in the mind and we cannot create from there when you're in a high vibration though because you're asking these questions and then a inspiration comes to you in some way and you're like oh cool yeah i can do that okay so how do i start doing that it's another question how do i start doing that next thing you know an email comes through you see a commercial like things just pop up someone mentions something to you like oh my god that's exactly what i was just thinking i wanted to go and do and i wasn't sure where to start things just start falling into place just keep asking questions stop trying to figure it all out because that's the trap of the, the subconscious mind the that word trying, feel it, feels heavy, right? Trying, it's so heavy. No, let's just be. Let's just be, do, have everything we desire. And start feeling that as the essence of what it is. So if, the, if moving to it, if you desire a new job, what is the essence of that new job? What is it about it that you would like? How would you like to feel in that job? You wanna feel the energy of where you're, where you're going so that you can get there by holding the energy. <laughs> All right, so this is called vibrational energy, this little card, uh, Arid Wasteland. Okay, I don't, I'm not, I don't recall this card. I don't know what it's gonna say. Let's look it up. Uh, LMNLP, where is it? Right here. Okay, Arid Wasteland. It says, you are a desert, a wasteland, and need to create, oh no, not, not you are, are you, okay? Are you a desert, a wasteland, and need to create balance? Generate your own oasis where you can go and heal yourself. This can be an actual place or somewhere that just feels peaceful. Allow other vibrations to help you to heal. It is your choice to be at this place. Only you can change the vibration and be free. Because yes, nobody does anything to us. Everything, even those things that you think, I, how could I have ever chosen that? You chose it or it wouldn't be happening. We are all creators. We come here with a purpose. Sometimes things happen that we're not that crazy about, but it is actually, if you can look at it and like, okay, this is what's happening. So where do I go from here? Universe, what, what do I do from here? How can I create change that would lead me to more of what I would enjoy in my life? Like you just ask lots of questions allow them to come in without going in your mind because the mind takes you out of that peaceful place so this is like finding a place where you can just be and allow the healing to come in 
Because when you can be and when you're in that happy, joyful, peaceful place, everything is possible. All the possibilities open up. I feel like this whole reading is really so much about trusting, allowing, letting go, like allowing, allowing these huge changes that are happening to happen as they are, even though some of it is horrific. Just trust there's a reason, there's a purpose for how, how it's all coming about so that we can actually move into this higher dimension. So let's see what we have here. For this one is uh, trust your vibes. Be flexible. All right, that seems like a great card. Number 40. Yeah, so even if it's hard for you to move into this space of allowing, um, of being receptive, See, that's the other thing. We, a lot of us cut it off where we can't have the good stuff flow in. And a lot of times that cutoff comes because we just allow ourselves, allow ourselves so easily to be in those lower vibrations. The fear, right? The, the, the doubt, the worry, the paranoia, like with some of the stuff that's going on in the world. Um, the more we feed those energies, the more of that stuff's going to go on. That's why you want to really make that connection to spirit. And you do it just through your breath. A couple of easy breaths. Feeling your body sinking into the, the surface wherever you are, standing, sitting, laying. And allowing yourself to, like I could do this so easily because I do it all the time. The more you do it, the easier it is. Allow your energy just to expand out and out and out and out and out. Opening up to the many possibilities that exist out there that you can't see, you don't know it yet. But you keep asking, so what else is possible for me now? You know, how does it get any better than this? What what has to happen so that some blah 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 will flow in with ease, you know, or how can I make how can I create can I create change in this area? You can just say that, can I? You don't have to know the answer. How can I create change in this area? Ask questions. It feels funny at first, but the more I ask questions now, the easier the questions just flow. So this was number 40, be flexible. And it says, the main reason your guides and angels are with you is to influence you to make the best possible choices for your life. All right. It's all about guides, angels, spirit this now. Trusting in that energy that it has your back. And just keep asking the questions because then those energies that are here supporting you can magically have solutions appear. Ideas will pop. When you're receptive, those good ideas can pop in your head. Those are the ones we want. Those are the ones we want to act on through a higher vibration of joy and enthusiasm, uh, curiosity even. Um, so letting go. Was this uh, being flexible? Okay. Well, anyway, letting go. Let's we'll see what, happens, what it says. Yet even as they offer help, it's up to you accept, to accept and follow your vibes before they can do any good. So that's the whole thing. Like you have to let go for, so that inspiration can come in. You got to release those negative thoughts because they're not going to change anything for you. The only way to make change is to go towards the positive thoughts, to just let go of those old ones and just say, well, what magic can come in now? Okay, I'm not going to listen to that crappy shit that goes through my head all the time. Universe, what can you send me now? What can happen if I just let go of those? How can my life change if I really choose to release those lower energy thoughts? Don't have to try and answer it. Just let the, I'm asking the questions for you. Ask them with me. Just let the answers flow and, and let them flow in whatever timing is right. Because it takes a little time for the universe to set things up sometimes, you know? Okay, so it says, Allow yourself to be influenced by your guides by being more flexible in body, mind, and spirit. This means get out of your rut, change your plans, take an occasional risk, trust the moment, and be willing to go with the flow if new inspiration encourages you to do so. Do not be a card-carrying member of the woulda, coulda, shoulda club. I love how she says that. Of The woulda, shoulda, coulda club of lost opportunities and psychic regret i mean how many times have you have you done something and you're like i knew i wasn't supposed to do that because you knew it but you did it anyway you got to start trusting what you feel in your body that's why i'm trying to give you that light and heavy tool you know it feels light and expansive it's right okay light is right <laughs> so she says um 
If you feel a vibe, be courageous enough to act on it. A high vibe, okay? Five sensory people are too rigid to see and accept the assistance of higher forces. So they miss their moments and live in frustration. So the sixth sense is that psychic sense, right? When you're not allowing that, which is your true nature, because you are spirit and you are all-knowing, um, if you would allow yourself to be, by allowing yourself to tune, tune into more of your sixth sense, to have all six senses working together, that's where miracles occur. So she goes on to say, uh, let me read that again, because it says, five sensory people are too rigid to see and accept the assistance of higher forces, so they miss their moments and live in frustration. Don't live like this. Rather than blindly sticking with the plan, your guides encourage you to ease up, stretch and bend your mind, and try to do things in a new way. Find ways that feel more in flow, that feel right for you, that like you're like, yeah, okay, this, is, this feels good. That other thing was just feeling too hard. That's an indicator for you right there, that that way that feels too hard won't get there. Sometimes you got to do hard work, but when you do that hard work from this higher vibration, this knowing that, oh, yeah, I can get, you know, it's like the little train that could, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I know I can, I know I can, I, and I can, right? It's a different energy. As long as you're going up with that energy, raising your vibe as you're doing these things that may feel sort of hard, it's a different energy. I want you to feel the energy between an inspired thing that maybe is not easy to do as opposed to something where you're just dreading it and just feeling miserable and going through the motion. It's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Okay, so it says... Um, your guides encourage you to ease up, stretch, and bend your mind and try to do things in a new way. Don't resist the universe as it strives to help you open to it. Because the universe, well, I mean, you've probably heard this a million times. The universe only knows one word. Yes. Yes. So we want to ask questions um, and do things. Well, put it this way. So you want to find what it is that you truly desire and go with that, right? Because if you're like, oh, I think I want to be a healer now. Yes, the universe will give you healer. But if you're like, oh, I'm never going to get anywhere. This is too hard. Life sucks. Yes, you're never going to get anywhere. It's too hard. Life sucks. Yes. Whatever it is that you're focused on is a yes. So you want to feel the energy. Is, is that yes going to take you where you want to go? or where you're dreading going, where you feel like you're stuck. I'm stuck. Yes, you're stuck. So you want to change that. Uh, what, can I, what can I do to change this stuck feeling? Ask questions, right? Uh, how can I free myself to be more of who I am? Because I always say that now, free yourself to be yourself. That's what, that's what my healing work is about. Just we're freeing yourself of all that junk that keeps you from being yourself. What is yourself? You just be anything and everything you desire. Whatever you comes in your head, you be it. We're already doing that, right? So if some miserable thing comes in our head and we be it. Stop being it. That's the old universe. That's the old tracks. We're now moving to these new tracks. This new vibrational frequency. This new dimension where manifesting is easy. Where you actualize your desires, things come to you. That's what manifesting is. Manifesting is how it comes in, right? Actualizing it is that it does come in. So let's manifest things in a way that lights us up, right? It's all about light. You are light. So that's why you check with your body. Is it heavy or is it light? <laughs> if it's light, it's true. So do the things that light you up. Allow yourself to be the light that you are. And anything that doesn't allow you or any inner scenarios and beliefs that cr cause fear for you to actually shine that light and be who you are and express who you came here to be, can we just uncreate and destroy all of that? Times a godzillion. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine shorts, boys and beyonds. Just letting it go. Releasing yourself from those beliefs, those inner scenarios, giving it up to the light, 
letting it dissolve in the light. Just bring in more light any which way you can. Laughter, dancing, singing, exercising, um, watching funny movies, watching, watching, I, I tell you what, I could watch, I could watch, what is it right now that's going on? America's Got Talent? <laughs> And I could be crying with joy for these people who go out there on that stage to be who they are. Even the ones who do really crazy things that aren't going to get them anywhere further on the show, at least they had the courage to get out there and go be what is somewhat, what is important to them, right? Just be it. Just go and be it. Be who you are. So, all right, that's enough. (laughs) Just know great changes are coming. Allow yourself to be in that flow with spirit, with the universe, with this energy that only says yes. So start asking the questions where yes supports you. Start saying things about yourself where the answer is yes. Yes, I am a beautiful, caring person. Yes, I am a creative being. Yes, I know how to make things happen. Yes, I know how to change course from going downstream to going upstream, like going with the flow. So that's, so so what I meant is that's wrong, not upstream. We don't want to fight the current, the up the stream of vibration up to a higher vibration, right? Because if you listen to Abraham Hicks, that would totally be like, that's not true. Yeah, because you want to go with the flow. Going with the flow is going downstream, following the water. Because, you know, water, nothing gets in the way of water. It just knows that it's going somewhere and it just goes right? Well, water coming down from the rivers up in uh, the Adirondacks in New York, where it's barely any water. It's the Hudson River, but it's barely any water. If you've ever been up there, you might see that. And what happens? It goes down into this huge river and out into the ocean. The water knows it's going to the ocean. It's just going. Nothing, you know, rocks in this way, goes around it. Trees, branches, goes around it. People on boats walking through it, goes around it. It just knows where it's going. So we just need, just focus on where you want to go, what you want to be, how you want to feel and just be it. Feel it now. Pretend. Find ways to feel joyful. And I know it's hard to just, but we have the power to do it, to just flip that switch and go from a lower vibe. I've done it many times, but there are a lot of times where I don't let myself do it. Why? I don't know, some stupid programming in the way, (laughs) but it won't be, it won't take long. So maybe I'm stuck in that energy for another hour or two before I let myself be out of it, but I'm not going to stick in it for a day. No way. I'm going to shift it because I know that energy does nothing for me. So the more you do that, more you prove it to yourself that you can just shift your energy. You have the power to do it. And so uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got something out of it. I'd love you to subscribe, like, comment, share. Um, but mostly, just just be who you came here to be. Just, just allow yourself to be happy no matter what. Be happy for no reason. Be happy no matter what. I got some weird things happening right now in my life. And I finally let go of it. <laughs> like, okay, whatever happens with this, happens. The universe is in charge. Guides, you guys guide me. That's what they're there for, right? So anyway, I'll see you on another video and just have an awesome July. Bye.